Do you ever struggle to create clear and organized layouts in your emails and landing pages? Well, you're not alone. Achieving the perfect balance between text, images, and white space can be challenging. But fear not. In this video, we'll reveal the power of divider and spacer blocks in BeFree, your secret tool for enhancing spacing and layout in your designs. So get ready to learn the difference between dividers and spacers so you can choose the right one for the right job, how they work in BeFree, and the benefits of using dividers and spacers in your designs. So first, let's break down the difference between the two blocks, shall we? Think of your email or landing page as a room. Sometimes you need walls to separate different areas, like a kitchen from a living room. Other times, you might want more empty space to give balance and provide emphasis to certain objects or furniture. So just like walls define different rooms in a house, dividers provide clear boundaries for different sections of your content, ensuring a smooth and focused reading experience. In BeFree, you can think of these horizontal lines as helpful signposts, guiding readers effortlessly through your email or landing page. Spacers are like empty spaces found around furniture and decor in a well-designed home. They help organize and enhance the overall appearance of the content by creating visual breathing room and emphasizing key elements. In BeFree, spacers work vertically, adding height between content blocks, but without the horizontal line found in divider blocks. Now let's take a look at how you might use dividers and spacers in your BeFree designs. Here we have an email that covers a range of topics relating to Ramadan, but uses the same dark blue background color from top to bottom. Without clear breaks separating each section, readers might struggle scanning the email and where to focus their attention. So let's use a divider, for example, to break up the friendly greeting from the main content below it. So we can grab our divider block and drop it here. Clicking on it gives us a few options. We can change the type of line from solid to dotted or even dashed. Let's stick with solid. We can adjust the weight of our divider and even the color. You can also make your line transparent if you so choose, which essentially turns a divider into a spacer. So there's a little hack for you. But for this example, let's use a light gray to give our divider a more subtle appearance while still making it stand out. Now for the width, we can drop this to 95 and it looks good center aligned, so let's leave that as is. We also have the option to add padding, and so let's increase this to 15 to give us the optimal amount of separation between these two sections. Now if we scroll through the rest of this email, we still need to add breaks to clearly separate the other sections. To give us more flexibility, we can insert empty rows in every instance where a section break should be. Just like that. So we can do that here. And just like that. Okay, great. Now all we need to do is click on our divider and duplicate it. And then drag it inside of the empty rows. We can do that again. And then one more time by separating the read our most recent news section with this one here. Okay, perfect. By adding dividers throughout this email, our sections are now clearly separated, which makes it easier to scan for key topics and information. But this email still needs work, so we're not done yet. If we scroll to the section where it says events happening, the content here looks cluttered. This is a perfect opportunity to add little pockets of breathing room between the text and images. Okay, so let's head to the sidebar and click content and then drag a spacer block between this image and where it says live events. If we then click on the spacer, we can adjust the height of it. And so let's make this 20, and we can duplicate it like we did with the divider block, and place this in between this CTA and the image below it. Awesome. This looks much better now, as these spacers help create gentle breaks between our text and images giving readers visual breathing room to focus on each element. The spacer block is also useful when working with images that have different sizes and shapes. For example, if we scroll to the top of our email, our hero image is much wider than it is tall. Since we want the stars here to span the entire width of the content area, the image is set to a width of 100%. But now, it leaves us very little room between the top of our image and the logo. 
This is where the spacer block comes in handy. So if we go to content, spacer, and then drag this block here and reduce the height to 25, beautiful. We've now created visual separation between these two areas here, drawing more attention to each element individually and giving more clarity to our design. Okay, to wrap up, dividers and spacers are great tools to help you create layouts that are balanced and easy to navigate. Now, if you're looking for more inspiration on how to use dividers and spacers, make sure to check out our free template catalog. Whether you're crafting emails for your Shopify store, a marketing agency, or a multinational corporation, you'll find plenty of designs that can serve as the perfect starting point for your next big campaign.